Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a card I've created using the Alta New Hibiscus Bouquet. This is a really fun set because it has a lot of interior and exterior images of flowers so that you can put them together. If you flip over the package you can see what interiors and exteriors go together. So I'll be doing a watercolor technique and I've chosen my colors of ripe persimmon, picked raspberry, and abandoned coral and then also peeled paint and bundled sage for my greens. I'm also working on some watercolor cardstock. I'm using the Tim Holtz positioner to do my stamping and I have my interiors of my stamps on the platform and I'm just going to go ahead and put my magnets down to keep my watercolor cardstock in place. I'll be stamping these twice so that I get a really nice bright color and so I'll start off by using one color for each of my flowers. And applying the ink is really easy. I'm just tapping around the stamp till I get it full of color. I'm also adding in spice marmalade for a really small flower that I have off to the left here. So once I have those inked up, I like to wipe off any excess ink I might have put down. And then I'm going to use my mini mister that has just plain water in here. And I'm going to go ahead and mist the stamps. What I'm looking for is for the ink to ball up onto the stamp and that way I can tell I have enough water. Before I stamp this, I am going to wipe my platform down with a towel to remove any of that excess water that is sprayed around the outside. This will help to avoid any drips from happening and also keeps my cardstock really nice and clean. So I go ahead and shut the lid and I'm just going to press gently with my fingers. I don't want to squish this down too hard, so I'm just making sure that the stamps make contact onto that paper. And the longer you allow that ink to sit into the paper, the more vibrant color you'll get for your images. So once you're ready, you can go ahead and lift that page. And now you have what looks to be a watercolor image. So I like to go ahead and clean off my platform and also clean off my stamps before I add my second layer of ink. I don't want to add any extra water to the ink pad. At this point, you can let them air dry or use your craft tool to go ahead and dry the ink up, but do leave everything in place on the platform. So next I'm going back in with more of my ink cube and I'm just inking up in the centers of the flowers using the corner of the ink pad to get more concentrated color. And I'll repeat the process of spraying this with some water in just that area of the ink. And again shut the door and press gently onto the paper making sure I have contact. And now I have a second layer of more intense ink in the centers. Next it's time to stamp my leaves and I've removed the flowers and now I've added the leaves to the bottom portion of the platform. And for these I'll be using my peeled paint and my bundled sage. And I do want to cover up my flowers that I've already stamped so I'm just going to go ahead and place a piece of paper on top. I really don't want to get any splashes of color on those. So I'll go ahead and start inking up with my peeled paint first and I'm getting the two larger leaves more with the peeled paint and then I'll use the bundled sage for the smaller leaves and if you want you can go ahead and use both colors on each of your leaves and that'll give you a more variegated color. And just like the flowers I'm going ahead and spritzing these with water making sure that everything's pulled up and then I'll clean around and then I can go ahead and shut the door and just let that ink roll right onto that paper. You can see it moving around through the clear stamps. And again, I'm just gently touching the top of the platform, making sure that I have really good contact with the paper and letting that ink set in for just a second. And then once I'm ready, I can go ahead and lift that platform lid and I have the green areas for my leaves. What's fun about this technique and having the inks be really fluid is as they dry you can go ahead and tilt your platform around to work with the drips of color. At this point my centers are all dry and I'm getting ready to stamp the outlines and I'm using the back of the packaging for my guide. So I've chosen the flower outlines and I'll be stamping these with my black archival ink. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the door and that will put the stamps right onto the lid. And now I'm just tapping these with my black ink and I can go ahead and shut the lid and stamp right on top of my colored centers. I guess I should mention that I'm stamping onto the smooth side of my watercolor paper, but you could use the other side if you wish 
and using the stamp positioner will allow you to get into all the little crevices and you can do several times with your black ink as well to make sure that it gets really nice and dark and to finish up my flowers and leaves I am stamping the outsides of my leaves with the black ink as well and doing the same thing where I'm going to go ahead and press down really hard to make sure I get a really great impression at this point I have cut out all my flowers and I've put them in an arrangement that I like and I've used some foam tape so that I get some really good lift and dimension and I've also stamped a message that says are awesome and that's on a slate piece of cardstock from Simon Says Stamp right now I'll be stamping my you so that my message will say you are awesome and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp clear ink and I'm stamping these onto a fog panel so once I go ahead and get that pressed down, I used my platform as a positioner so I could see how everything would fit together. The next thing I wanted to do is to white emboss my message and then I can just use my heat tool to go ahead and set the embossing powder. At this point I'm dry fitting everything together before I adhere it down just to make sure that I like it. And in my finished card I did use a Simon Says Stamp rectangle stitch die to trim down that fog cardstock. And then I mounted everything onto a panel of white and put that onto a top folding white card. I hope you've enjoyed my watercolor technique where I've stamped twice using the Alta New Hibiscus Bouquet flowers. And as always, thanks so much for watching.